Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use the database and generate routes in our Digival MX system. As you can see, we have right now an example company in our database. In it, we will see the name of the company, the name of each area, and inside each area we will see the name of each machine. On the right side we will find the file manager on the top and the statistics manager on the bottom. As you may see, each item has two colors that correspond in the same order to the graphics of the statistics manager. The first color is the severity of the velocity and the second color is the severity of the acceleration envelope. Why are these parameters so important? The velocity is considered the most important parameter in which we can evaluate the general condition of our machine. The acceleration envelope instead is considered the most important parameter for bearings condition. Now, each one of the machines has many points set and each point has its axis configured. When I select a point, the statistics disappear and the tendency curves are shown. This is normal because the statistics are not calculated for the points and neither for the axis. Later we will see how the severity values are set for each point. For each point we can set the severity values for every condition, where good will be green, satisfactory will be yellow, rough orange and bad will be red. If we make right click and configure this machine, we will see which alarms this machine has. In this case, under 1.12, the value will be green. Under 2.8, the value will be yellow. Under 7.1, the value will be orange. And above 7.1, the value will be red. The same is applied for the acceleration envelope and for all the other parameters. We will see this later with more detail. When you select a point, you will see that on the right side a list of files appear. If we select an axis, all the measures taken on this axis will appear. The same for each axis. If we select the point itself, the system will only show the last value of each axis. The same if we select the machine, the system will show us the last value of each point on each axis. On the right side of the list, there is a button. If the button says Open, then you can open the signal by clicking on it and see the signal, the spectrum and all the rest. If the button says no file, that means that there is no file associated to this measure. The reason is that sometimes we will need to save some space in the database and we will delete the file. On the top of this list, there is an option to filter the results by date or period. This button will show only the measures that have a file. If I click on it, all the measures that don't have a file will disappear. If I select these three measures and I click on this button, I will compare the files in a cascade graphic. In this option, I can select 3D, 2D, etc. This button here will copy the values to the clipboard. With this one, you can add a measure manually. Here you can edit a measure and with the last one, you can erase the selected record. What I want to show you right now is how to create a new machine and open a new route. We click here in New Element. We set the name of the company in this case, example 2. 
We enter the name of the area, the name of the machine. If we had an image in the hard drive, we can select it from here. For this example, this one. Down there, we will select the number of points of the machine. The transmission. For example, belt. And the ISO class. ISO divides all machines in four classes. So this one would be a class 2. I forgot to tell you that if you have a webcam in your computer, you can click here and you will take a picture of your machine. On the right side, we will configure each point. We have to enter the RPM. This is important because based on those RPM, the software will calculate the acceleration and drop. So it's very important to set them. Here we are going to select the axis that we are going to use. In this case, we will only measure horizontal, vertical and axial. We will set the alarm. The alarms are set by default according to the ISO class. If we change class, we will see that the values change. In this case, we will leave it in 2, which is the most common class. Regarding the acceleration envelope, if you don't know which values are recommended for your machine, I recommend you to leave at them as they are. These are the values that by default the manufacturers of this software decided for good, rough and bad. Of course, if you have gearbox, then the values will change according to the specifications of this part, which are usually higher. These values can be changed anytime. If you notice that all values appear in red, even if the machine is in good condition, then you can adjust these parameters and you will see that the colors will automatically change. Now we click OK. In this option, you can add any detail that you would like to remind later. For example, measure the temperature on this point. Here, the software has three additional values that we can add, for example, current measure or RPM, and these two will be plotted on the statistics graphics. In this moment, we won't add any extra value, but if you wish to add one, here you will add the name of this value. To add a new bearing, just enter the name and click search to see if the software can find it in its database. You select the correct bearing and you click OK. The parameter must be in the blue color in order to be saved. Note that this is an optional value. In this case, this will be the only one that we will save. Finally, we have here something that is very important is the machine code. The system will identify this machine with this unique number. Usually the system selects this number automatically. However, if you wish to select one, you can do it here and you will also create a new barcode. What is the barcode for? The barcode, if you copy it, paste it in a Word document and you print it as a label and you paste it on your machine later when you open a route you can do it using the webcam of your computer by reading this code it is important to remind that this code once saved it cannot be modified later if you want to change it you will have to erase this machine and create a new one now we click in OK and the machine is already saved. As you may see, the colors of the machines appear in white. This is because there is still no record in it. There are three ways to open a new route. If I select these two companies, we find many machines to create a route.
We can select one by one with a right click and clicking in Analyze, which will open a new route with the name of the machine and its corresponding points. Another way, if you are sure that you want to follow this route as it is, click here and the route will be created with all the machines that were on the list. The system will ask you one by one the axis of each point of each machine from the list. In this case, the point 1H. We click here and the capture starts. In this case, I had zero seconds. That is why I didn't record anything. We select three seconds, which is the most recommended time, and we click again in capture. Now the measure is safe. In this capture, I was shaking my accelerometer just to show something because I don't have a motor right here. As you can see, the measure has been recorded and the point is ready. It is important to keep in mind that this record won't be saved in the database until I finish all the measures of this machine or when I click on the Save Route button. In this moment, I don't want to save it because I want to show you the third way to create a route. Well, I already printed the barcode of our example machine as I told you previously. The thing is, if you click on this button, the system will attempt to read the barcode using the webcam and open the corresponding route. Here you can select which camera you want to use. There are tablets with two cameras and sometimes the default one is the one in front of you. So here you can select the back one. Just to make an example, I brought this barcode printed on the paper. The system reads it and automatically opens the route. This one is the third way to open a route. Just to make an example, we will take some 3 second samples. If there is a measure that you are not satisfied with, then you can select it and record it again. Once finished, you click OK and the route will be saved in the database. Before saving it, I want to show you this. For each measure, you can add a comment as well as a temperature value. In this case, you need a thermometer. You enter the value and the system will also save a history line for it. In this case, we have no value for temperature, so we click OK. And that's it, the route is saved and there is no machine pending. Now let's update our database. As you can see, the severities for this example are already there. And inside, we can see the vibration values, open them, analyze them, etc. Note that on each recorded file, you will be able to switch to velocity, acceleration, displacement, and acceleration envelope. In the same way, here, all the values have been recorded. Well, thank you for watching.